All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol TSLA, Tesla Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I do want to say some things. And the first thing is welcome to all my first time viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. Hope you guys find this video helpful and informative and it means you well. To all my subscribers, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your recognition to my efforts. And I hope to continue to relay helpful and informative information and nothing less to you all. Let's jump into this chart. So here we are seeing, right, the bullish run as the days went by, hitting the peak of 538. And from that moment forward, I'm going to be honest with you guys, before looking at anything that's going on, and it's going to be important for tomorrow and the upcoming days, 538 is not just the peak and the highest point of the stock, but after the stock split, this is the most important price point that the bulls need a break before having another run and breaking newer highs. Anything the bulls do in between that, it's going to kind of guide them throughout the days. Like the first goal is to break through the 50 day moving average and get back up here. And that's cool. But the one that's really going to test new highs and break through new resistance levels is 538 being broken through. And then the bulls can go from there. But let's zoom in on what's important right now. But 538, I write that down. That's a very important price point for this to continue to hit newer highs. So here we are with the stock hanging out in between the points that we saw and testing the support, trying to stay above it and quickly falling from there. Because the highest point that it hit right before support was broken through was 431.49. That was a point that definitely um, the bulls tried to stop the bears from going further, and it certainly went further down to newer lows. So let's go ahead and move these. I'm going to make these longer so that you guys can see it to their new points of reference. And our support level is not that far away from the closing price, and our resistance level is a little bit above. It's the one point where the Bulls did appear and they tried their best to level this off. And it was the highest point reached after this dip and before the dip continued to go down to newer lows. So here we are with our resistance level and we're going to zoom in and see what is important for tomorrow. So let's close out at thirty at $388.23. Excuse me, not $38. $388. And the 50 day moving average is 43.71. Let's see if I can land exactly on it. It's kind of hard on those uh, uh, pennies and, and uh, cents, but uh, 43.71 is the 50 day moving average. I'd write that down. As long as this stays below it, the bulls are not having control and the bears are dominating. This closed out at 388, so that's, that's a significant difference of $50. And we're going to have to see how this plays out tomorrow. The first thing that the Bears want to go ahead and break through is 385.29. That's our support. If that gets broken through, this will test newer lows. To the point that it already broke through the lowest point before this bullish run back on the 25th. And then the next lows would be fairly close to where we're at which is 371. I want you guys to keep that in mind. You gotta pay attention to how it was acting before the split and how it's acting right now. And keep multiplying this number by five so that you can get an idea of what it's you know worth. Even though you got five stocks, what was it worth before per stock? So that definitely gives you an idea where we're at and what's going on. But the next one is 371. So if 385.29 gets broken through by the bears, they're just going to pull this down further away from the 50 day moving average and work its way down to newer lows. So I can't emphasize this enough how important it is to pay very close attention to how it acts after 385. And you can clearly see, as I stated yesterday, 405, how important it was. And it's so important that it tested support one, two, 
three, four times in the day before it broke through it and it finally hit new lows. I don't know if you guys recall what I said in yesterday's video, but if you guys want to watch it, I'm going to be posting at the end of this video so you guys can see the analysis of yesterday to today. For those of you that are curious to know more about the charts and be prepared and learn more, check it out. But I had stated 405, how important it was, even though it wasn't the support level that I was, you know, analyzing off of first, which the closest one was 431, which basically turned to earn into our resistance, right? Um, the support level that I had mentioned, which is the lowest point that it reached was 405, and it tested it four times today till it finally broke through it. So if 385 gets broken through, the next one, like I said, will be 371, which is shown here um, at this point. And if that gets broken through, this could be on its way down to newer lows and the bears are just gonna continue to pull this away from the 50 day moving average. Now, on the other hand, if the bulls can have a recovery, 431.25 needs to be turned into a support. That's our resistance level. The bulls need to break through it, turn it into support, so they can work their way up to newer highs and get back into bullish territory. Once the bulls are able to turn that into support, their next goal is 433.71. And by turning that into a support, they've officially made it into bullish territory. And their next goal is, for those of you that want to write it down, is 451.19. It's the highest point when this leveled off before the dip. So 451 is another important point once the 50 day moving average is crossed by the bulls and then they can start to work their way up to newer highs but before getting there 431.25 highest point after the fall after leveling off here and the one point where the bulls appeared and you could see how the bears are dominating this in a very uh, subtle and calm way just dipping down and it just shows you that even if the bulls were to reappear and kind of create this uh this effect of uh, jumping it back up if the bulls get exhausted in this run in this direction quickly the bears can reappear and bring it back down so definitely pay very close attention to how this reacts does it get closer to the 50-day moving average by breaking through this resistance of 431 25 and turning into support and start to work its way up or is it quickly moving down breaks through 385.29 and starts to hit newer lows. This is going to be a very interesting one to pay close attention to. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to pay attention to how this behaves once it crosses support because even if it was to have a slight recovery, it is still in bearish territory until it breaks through 433.71. So keep that in mind. Yeah, that's cool that it broke through it and the bulls reappear and it seems like a V-shaped recovery, but the V-shaped recovery needs to break through resistance, turn into support and get back up here in bullish territory there's no point of a v-shaped recovery that honestly just draws out uh, a recovery that yeah it fell down right it fell down and then it recovered and it stays around here right the look how far it is from the 50-day moving average it still didn't break through resistance and it just kind of broke even back where it was at so those are the things you want to pay close attention to on how it's acting tomorrow and what is going on with the stock? Does it hit newer lows? Does it break through the 385 mark? And will it start to go down to the 371 mark? Which then, that's two support levels being broken through. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informative and it means you well. Share this with your friends and community. If you feel inclined to subscribe and also hit the like button, do so. And for those of you that subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell so that you guys don't miss a single video that I post. And for those of you that do hit the like button, that's the best way to let me know you watch this video. I really appreciate it. You guys don't have to comment, just a click of a button just to let me know you saw it. It means a lot. And hope you guys found this video helpful and informative, truly. Share this with your friends and community once again. And thank you guys so much for watching. Let's make some money.